Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 33, and now we're something a bit different. Sorry for those actually watching live. I got home late, so I had to spend a bit of time actually setting this up. But now it's set up. Sorry about that. I really wanted to have set it up earlier. That aside, this is Gravitas. It is a Spring Engine game that has been submitted for, or was submitted for Ludum Dare last weekend. Ludum Dare 32. And this is entirely based on gravity guns, which are some of the most fun parts of the Spring Engine. As anyone who's watched my Zero K casts with sumos can attest. Or even the occasional Newton. Gravity guns are fun! However, this is also a Ludum Dara game, so it's gonna be a little bit wonky. And there are some wonkiness, like, for example, these monsters here. Who, well, actually, it's just in general. Wall collision is a little bit wonky. And there's a tendency, I don't know if it's fixed in this version. Okay, good, it was fixed. There was a tendency in the last version I tried yesterday, just when I was trying to get the hang of this for stuff to be pushed above onto walls rather than just colliding into them, like being pushed onto the top section. Oh, still does, never mind. Okay, so they get pushed up walls rather than being smashed into them and killed, which is a little annoying, but otherwise... This is basically a puzzle game entirely built around the use of gravity guns and occasionally the abuse of enemy pathfinding since fire kills them and they don't seem to realize this. Yeah, this particular part of the level. I'm not sure if this is the intended solution, but it works really well. This is also where I got stuck in my preview, so hopefully this is more than a two-minute little demonstration of how this game works. I got stuck because I was trying to play around with these canisters, and I think what you're supposed to do is pull them here. I think. I'm not sure. I think you're supposed to pull them onto the fire. Why is there... It must be an in-game echo. Sorry, the, that echo is weird, but... Yeah, I think you're supposed to push them onto the fire, and then they get damaged and explode, and then blow open the door. I'm not sure, though. Oh! That's exactly what's supposed to happen. Okay! Yeah. If Gash Up, when you watch this, that's unwinnable if you lose those containers. I screwed up and lost those containers, and the entire game became unwinnable, un unwinnable at that point. Some way of resetting would have been nice. But yeah, I figured that was the solution. I ended up screwing up the last time, but that's fine! It's not on film! Now, how am I going to deal with this? Oh yeah, another thing you can do, as you notice, you can jump, which, as far as I can tell, is primarily for avoiding projectiles. There is clearly an area later on where I will need to jump to clear it, in every sense of the word. But not yet. At this point, it looks like I primarily will need to mess about with these things. Pull that in. And then push, because I'm thinking the best thing I need to do is to push this onto that. Oh, shoot. Almost got it. Perfect. All right. And now, jump! And is my jump recharged? Jump! There we go. I realized that was totally unintentional. It's just a camera artifact, but that was so cool that it zoomed in and it was jumping. Totally unintentional camera artifact, but I like it. It's a good camera artifact. So at this point, I am completely in uncharted territory. But yeah, the entire goal, as you can see, is very clearly put box, or primarily put box on Switch. There are other ways of getting around, like just put, okay, push you away. I can't really tell what these things are. It's a sort of spider bot thing. Nope. Up. <sighs> Once again, I'm not quite sure what the... Okay, where's the exit on here? Let's see. Is there a switch? It's the first thing to look for. Is there a switch? No. Are there fuel cells? No. There are... Enemy... Oh, there is a switch. Never mind. Okay. And those things can just stay there. Oh boy. Electricity is not something I want to see right now. I'm not sure I can interact with anything though. I mean, it looks like it just supercharges enemies, but I don't know. Fire is clearly death. Electricity is possible death. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure why these things are killable. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's like, well, why are they killable? 
That to me is a good question. I mean, it seems like it's more interesting if they're... Well, that sucks. Let the fuels canister go. I should point out this is a Ludum Dare game, and I'm kind of stuck. <sighs> I cannot rotate the camera. Which would be kind of nice in this one instance, because it would mean I'd be able to see what's going on. Okay. Let's start over. Oh, wait, that's quit. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. I'm not sure if there's a way to restart, but it loads fairly quick. Anyway. Gonna have to start over. No big deal. But yeah, I'm thinking that those enemies probably don't have any reason to actually be killable. Unless there's something I'm missing, it seems like the main challenge would be to work around them. Like if, because it looks like the later enemies don't seem to have much health, or if they do, I just don't know about it because they weren't damaged yet. But it seems like they didn't, so it feels like the best thing to do is, or best thing to have, is no way of killing enemies. There we go. Open the door. And then it becomes a challenge of avoiding enemies. You can't kill them, you simply have to evade them. Seems much more in keeping with the puzzle theme idea rather than having this weird setup where you can exploit enemy AI to... Oh, crap. Yeah. Exploit enemy AI to not get them hitting you. And now zoom in. Once again, because of a camera bug, but an awesome camera glitch. But yeah, the game seems pretty simple. I was asked to go over it because it is a Spring Engine game, and I cast 0K and a couple other Spring Engine games, primarily 0K, and I thought, well, let's ask that Shadow Fury to do this, and I said sure. Because I'm that kind of guy. Okay, even with the added challenge of not shooting at, or not even using the gravity gun against the enemies, this is still fairly simple. Hmm. Not sure if that was intentional, or if this is just a much longer game than I think it is. Okay. Now, at this point, I was trying to evade those guys, and where's the fuel canister? There's the fuel canister. Nah. Ow, shoot! This is what I mean when I say unwinnable. Well, not totally unwinnable. I think I can... Wait, no, I can't. There are no fuel canisters in earlier areas, are there? Crap. So yeah, there's one criticism I'd level against this game, is that there's no real way of... Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm exploiting it, but still. It's like... Ah! Okay. There's no real way, as far as I can tell, of getting out of situations that like this. Or getting... Oh, are there no fuel canisters around here? This seems weird. I wouldn't mind if there was a restart puzzle option, but the fact that I have to restart the entire game is really annoying. That, or trek back, find... Which can't be the resolution. But trek back, find... Some... Things... Wow. Physics abuse! Hooray! Ah! I get set on fire in the air? That was unexpected. Okay. But yeah, if I if I abuse the physics in the air and I just push this across, if I do this right, I should be able to pull this with me. Yes! <sighs> of course. Of course it would. Yeah, so I'm thinking a nice puzzle reset button. Like, just reset that one puzzle so it has some idea of where you are with respect to that particular <sighs> With respect to that particular puzzle rather than the game as a whole. 
Well, I feel like it'd be faster just to restart the entire thing and try it again from where I was, but... Let's actually try to stick with one playthrough. Man, this is really hard to do as part of an actual attempt to solve a puzzle. Shoot! Uh, again! Okay, restarting again. Is there really no way to restart? This can't be. No, apparently there's only a way to quit. Okay. Gage up, I hope you're watching this at some point, or watch the YouTube video of this, because... Yeah, that's getting kind of annoying. The fact that I have to restart the entire game. And like I said, it's fairly, it's fairly easy, even if I set the challenge of never touching... At least intentionally touching the enemies. It's still kind of simple, and I think part of it was that there were some complaints about it being too hard. And I think the real problem is that it's just the difficulty is weirdly unbalanced. Like, it doesn't seem to know how hard it should be. It's just okay. Okay, that still works. But yeah, it seems to have its difficulty confused. in. Like I said, I can get around these enemies without too much issue. And granted, I'm clicking like I'm playing a Dota-like, but still, I'm able to get around these without any issue. I'm able to solve the puzzles with the blocks trivially, and without the blocks with great difficulty. What the? Wow. Nope, it's not instant death. Okay. Cool. Okay, Orphelius is trolling me by pointing out that one of Gajup's students actually did it. Apparently, Gajup was in academia. Did it in the first run, which doesn't surprise me. It's more just that, like, because it's really not that difficult. It's just the stupid one thing that he's messing things up. Like I said, even refraining from killing enemies, this is quite simple. It's just getting this one container over where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. Come on, blow up. Why is it not blowing up? What the hell? No. There we go. Finally hits the bloody fire. Oh, those things have gravity guns? I did not expect that. Whee! I really did not expect them to have gravity guns. But still, this is... Yeah, this isn't that... I'm not surprised that they took only one try. I'm actually kind of surprised it's taken me this many tries. Although, like I said, as you can hear... Ah! Oh! I see. Well, this is actually getting tricky now. What with the... Whee! Okay. I mentioned before I really like the Gravity Physics and Spring Engine. They're wonky sometimes, but they're hilarious. Actually, can I... Can I close this door? Yes, I can! Awesome. Perfect. Okay. I really needed that. Get over here. You get over here. I'm opening doors in the meantime to actually get out of their enemies to start messing with me. Doesn't sound like it though. Oh. I don't... Okay, that's strange. Does it work in the system that every single previous... It can't be like that. I don't think it's every single previous one, is it? Oh well, I guess only one, one way to find out. Uh, let's see, that is... 
this. Nope. Can't seem to exploit the physics engine. This doesn't make sense to me. I've hit all the switches. Except that one that I intentionally didn't hit so that I wouldn't be troubled while doing this problem. Oh, yeah, Orpheus has a point. Maybe it's certain ones that I need, although that would be really cruel. But... Yeah, maybe it's that I only need to do one? It wouldn't make sense, though. That completely goes against the logic of everything else so far. Yeah, so you have 25 combinations. Wait, is it 25 combinations? No, it's not 25 combinations. No, no, it's far fewer than that. It's only like 15. I think. One. Five. Ten. Oh, wait, no, it's more than that. Is I five with ones? 10 with 2s, 10 with 3s, 5 with 4s, and then 1 of 5, which altogether comes up to 31. Yeah. Okay. Entertaining television, everybody! And then it turns out that it was, all the whole time it was this one switch that I needed to keep enabled the entire time. Oh! Thanks, Ophelius. Ophelius pointing out creatures and boxes in the corner there, providing what may very well be a hint. Or, okay, maybe that hints backwards. That's the most obvious way of interpreting it, but let's try the other way. The other option, of course, being that it's... Nope, that's not it either. Maybe it's the creatures are active and the boxes are inactive. I think I already tried this combination. No, that's not it either, unless I got the direction wrong again. Try reverse direction. And the last combination that might be of use... Yes, there it is! Okay! So it's creature. Oh, yeah, actually, that was the correct order. So it's creatures. Where the creatures are going left to right, left to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Left to right, left to right. That's how it works. Is seriously all this is? Oh, crap, this is going to fall in the abyss, isn't it? Nope. No, it's not. That was a breather level, I suppose. Makes sense. Also, Kaja mentioned something about missile launchers. Something about missile launchers in the late game. Not sure what they were talking about. Okay, thank you, Orphelius. As I say with open source software, every problem is shallow with enough eyes. Get away from me. Okay, let's see. Other than this... Whoa. Can they kill each other? No, it doesn't look like they can. They can hit each other and knock each other around, but they can't kill each other. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, you've... Oh. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, let's try exploring. Ah, I took the image. That's bad. I think the center I don't trust. I have a feeling that I'm supposed to actually kill that thing. That my self-imposed challenge must come to an end, and in fact, that is the entire point of these fuel canisters in the corner here. Okay, well, pulling fuel canisters in seems to be the way to go. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to get through these guys first. I wonder how many of these fuel canisters have to explode by that boss to... Because it's gonna. That's gonna be how it works. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Oh. Me? 
maybe I'm supposed to pull the fewer canisters near the fire. And that way avoid the problem. Okay, those must be the rocket launchers, and they are clearly screwed up. But, I'm saying I'm getting stuff out of my way. Smash a box into them. Okay, that doesn't work either. Screw it! That's a very strange thing that happened. Okay, I wonder if I can... Can I pull this thing around? Oh, I can. Okay. You go in the fire, then. You burn. And die that way. I don't fuel camps before. Oh, apparently I needed to actually meaningfully deal damage to this thing. Maybe. Does this game end? I'm curious. Have they did they implement end game stuff? The congratulations, a winner is you kind of thing. Because if they didn't, that's gonna be oddly annoying. Okay. Well, I got rid of a few. Okay, well, I still have another 11 containers left. I might have to blow up these guys in the process, though. Nope. Man, it's Sumo Simulator. Ah, crap. Ten fuel containers left. Yeah, it's a Sumo Simulator. I have gravity guns, I have the jump ability, and I have... That's about it, actually. It. This thing. Ah! That hurts. Okay. This boss really is annoying. Whoa! Oh crap, I think I got one more shot before I'm dead. Thankfully I have Glaive Regeneration, but still. I can't... Wow. Okay. That's... bad. Ah! Seriously? Got to the end and died. Oh yeah, no Goomba Smash on this. Can't believe that. I almost managed to beat that. Okay, clearly I'm less worthy of a per as of being a person as Gadgetop's student. I, I can't even tell what the boss is supposed to do. I'm guessing you're supposed to hit it with a field canister when it's in the fire, but... At the same time, putting things in fires should just generally kill them. Okay, well that's blown open. Onward we go. Nope, wrong thing. I think given the fact that I'm supposed to actually kill these at the end, that earlier self-imposed challenge is kind of moot. Not that these little mooks are that big of a deal anyway, but still. Unless I'm not careful and they end up hitting me right next to a fuel canister. Then it's pain in the butt. out of there. And back to the next area, which I think was the one that was just get around these things. Yeah, those guys are just walls. Alright. That's easy enough. Get around that. Push this block. Get through. Where was that? I think it was pull, and then it was here. And then it was push, and it was stop, stop, stop. And it was push into there until it blows up, killing that one monster, which is exactly what I want. Oh, no, 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 no. We okay. So this area was simple. Well, okay. Apparently, I can walk into the void. Good to know. All right. I was able to do this no problem last time, so we'll see how that... Whoa! Crap! Oh, right! I needed to get a box. Eee! 
Push away so I don't get smacked by monsters. Crap! Get over here! Okay. Hi. Okay, Gajop is on. So I Gajop, I'm still thinking, I gotta be careful with this fuel canister. But, oh wait, it's, this is not quite enough. One more. Fuel canister things need to be a bit more careful with. I mentioned before, losing one makes the game unwinnable. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, wait, what am I thinking? Why am I doing it this way? This has just got one right here. Hint block is right here. I don't even know why I pulled the other one across the chasm. This doesn't have any sort of sectioning off between puzzles. So I can just do that. Alright. And now these things... Wait, which one was this? Oh, right, this bit. Okay. There's another box on switch. Pretty simple. <sighs> I have to section off the bloody things because that's the only way it's going to happen. And now for the boss fight. Yeah. Just get away from these things. I realize it's going to be a problem later on. Push into other stuff. If I had fire near by, it would be fine. Into fire. Into fire. Into fire. Burn you. Oh, not burning. What's wrong with you? This. Okay. Ah! Here, pull in. Yeah, the only thing I find annoying about this is more of a general physics thing in in the spring engine, which is that stuff accelerate. Impulse provides acceleration. Oh, that cleared that area up. Impulse provides acceleration, which means that I can't just set it to a constant speed. I'm not just pulling stuff with me. It's it's part of the puzzle, I suppose. Ah. Okay. Pull in. Pull in. Stop. And ah! Darn it. <sighs> okay. So Gajab was saying that canisters were actually meant to be checkpointed levels. In case, well, the exact unwinnable situation that occurred to me a couple times happened, which, as I've just mentioned, it happened a couple times. Oh boy. Let's see if I can trick into blowing that up. At least opening this up for me. I'm curious how many canisters are needed to explode on that. There we go. Got rid of most of the annoyance. We. What's the limit on the jump range here? Okay, the jump range is fairly long. Long enough just about anything in 0k, that's for sure. Get in. Yeah, I noticed that you aren't using height maps on this, so it's it is kind of wonky. Oh, yeah. So what I mean is like the floor is wherever it needs to be, rather than actually having proper walls. I noticed that a while ago. I didn't really comment on it because it's more of a thing I noticed when I was testing this originally. Okay, get over here. Get over there, and then. No, you guys push, push into the fire. Oh, what the heck? Why does that bounce? Okay, why is that bouncing? This makes no sense. That should not be bouncing. Right. OK. 
Okay, that's not exploding either. Gajap, will I know if I've won? Like, if the boss, which is currently embedded in a wall somewhere... Yeah, this is... What has happened? Have I made this unwinnable? The boss is embedded in a wall, as is one of the tanks... As one of the canisters that I need to kill it with. But I can't seem to actually do that. Back here... Whee! Oh wait, that's a way to make it explode. <laughs> Throw it in the air. Right, I forgot about that. If it lands in the ground, it blows up. Oh right, they lead shots. Actually, I didn't know they lead shots, but now it's good to know. Yeah, so handy. Pull plus jump means death! But, oh, well. Difficult to aim death, mind, but death nonetheless. Death for me, most likely. So yes, I'm trying to do our affiliates. I'm trying to provoke a chain explosion because I know there is a canister embedded in the wall, and I know the boss is embedded in the wall, and I'm guessing that one explosion is going to be enough to kill it. Okay. Once again, let's see if I can make this work. Oh, that didn't work at all. But that's just, that's fine, because I wanted to... Ah, what the heck? I wanted to push this into that fire. Or something. Or blow everything up, that works too. I have another nine-ish canisters. I'll be able to make it. Wee. I, I said we. Go. I'm part of we, don't you understand? Ah, of course. Okay, well, let's just push these things out of the way. The one advantage to the weird acceleration behavior is that it means pushing these things away is trivialized. They'll fly. After first a few missteps, they will simply fly away. Probably get themselves killed in the process. Oh wait, no, what am I thinking? If I jump while doing this, I'll be able to carry them with me, and they land a lot harder than I do. Oh crap, I've awakened a bunch of others. Of course I had to provoke all of them, didn't I? Oh good, they're not chasing me. So we're at it aggroed the entire set. That would have been a bit of a problem. Okay, let's see if I can finish this finally. That's true, this is how Sumo works. That's a good pro What the heck is this bouncing on? It's true, this is how Sumo works. I oh for crying out loud, what is this bouncing on? Like I know this is how Sumo works, I realize that. It's that's not anything that over. Oh, well, okay. That eliminated that inconvenience, so let's finally finish this off. And yeah, Sumo works with that, which is kind of cool. I like that. See that used more often, the jump plus gravity gun. Although admittedly, the gravity gun here is considerably easier to control, being that you're only controlling this rather than controlling that plus your entire army. So I realize that the jump up factory being the jump up factory, you don't have as much of an army to control, but still, you have something of an army to control. By the time you have Sumos, you, you still have an army. All right, chain explosion time. Stop, and... Well, chain explosion went off, but it's not dead. How many explosions have to go off to kill this thing? Oh, Gadget isn't listening anymore. Okay, well, this is basically one. I, I don't see any way that I could lose other than simply running out of canisters, which doesn't seem likely, since nothing's going to get in the way of actually bringing the canister to the fire that the boss has been embedded near. Ah! And that one enemy. That one enemy is going to be a problem. Okay. Alright, so I think we just call it... I mean, I've clearly finished this. It's just... Other than the glitch that's kind of preventing me from actually officially finishing... Ah, I don't want to be sound fire. Okay. 
way. For reference, I am in fact targeting the end the boss. I'm just trying to pull it into the fire. I refuse to call this a stalemate. I just... <sighs> yeah, so this game still has some bugs, but it's kind of neat. It's a neat little exercise in Spring's physics engine. Well, physics component of Spring, which admittedly, every Spring game is something of an exercise of the physics component. But this is one of the most deliberate such exercise. Wow, I can smash them into myself and that kills them. Okay, cool. Go off. Am I even damaging this thing? I honestly have no idea. <sighs> I'm seriously not sure. Am I killing it? Or how many canisters it takes to kill it? I would imagine it's not all 12. I'm guessing that you don't need 12. I was thinking you only need, like, one, given how hard it is to even get one off. Although, admittedly, with a jumping trick, you could probably hit that. <sighs> with a jumping trick, you could probably hit the boss without having to worry about it, but still, that's a stupid thing. No, I feel like this is the thing smashing into me and me killing it that way. Is that as far as help than I do, I guess. Isn't that weird? What is it bouncing off of? I'm trying to predict what it's going to bounce off of. It's such a pain. Oh, darn it. I screwed it up again. Throw another canister into the wall. <sighs> okay, well, I'm probably gonna... If this canister explosion... This next canister explosion doesn't kill, I'm gonna call it. And of course, if it does kill, then I've won. And I mean, assuming the canister is not blown up by the enemy I am trying to avoid... I was really close. Actually, it leaves its shot, so I can kind of. Uh, why? Why is the spring engine so poorly set up for crashing stuff into walls? Okay, it's probably because that's not exactly a core feature of any RTS game. But still. Gah! Okay, well, this is my last shot. Well, if I did not screw up. Okay, last shot. Not gonna run into a wall this time. Gonna run it into an invisible wall this time. Well, that's the best it could do. I wonder if the wall actually blocks. Oh, I can't block damage because the chain explosion wouldn't work otherwise. Oh, it was damaged, too. And it does burn. Yes! We're gonna actually validly win this! Hooray! You win! A winner is me! Finally! Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. That was Gravitas, the Ludum Dare 32 entrant from Gadget and a bunch of other people who basically going under the name Spring Cabal. That's actually the logo, if you're wondering what's there. That's the Spring Cabal logo by the little Gravitas name. Yeah, that's... That's the game. That is the Ludum Dare entrant, which I have beaten after 45 minutes because I apparently suck at video games. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching this rather random diversion. And I will once again return to regular programming with 0K on Saturday. I have a bunch of good games that have been... Give, have been linked to me, which I'm really excited to cast. So watch it Saturday at 1, or well, you can see the schedule right there. 1 p.m. PST, or PDT actually. PST or PDT? Okay, it says PST, it means PDT. So yeah, it's 8 p.m. UTC. Thank you for watching, have a good night everyone.